welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. One compelling reason to pick a comprehensive web creation tool like Excite Pro over a standard HTML editor is the time-saving benefit. Excite Pro offers many time-saving features, from page import tools to a comprehensive clip art library to automatic sitemap generation. And for those who create a lot of similar pages, for example product pages, the multi-page creation wizard might just be the most useful. Say you're selling 10 different laptop computers from your site. Their core features are nearly identical, only their technical specs are different. Do you individually create and optimize 10 very similar pages? Of course not. You can use the multi-page creation tool in Excite Pro and be finished in a fraction of the time. Here's how it works. Go to the Other tab and choose Multi-Page Creation. First, you need to enter the pages you want to create. These are product pages, so I'll enter the model here of the first one in the page title. Now, under Extra Keywords, I'll enter a few keywords that describe the specs of this model specifically. Just separate each keyword with a comma. If you already have this info in a text document or spreadsheet, keep in mind that you can import from a text or CSV document. I just happen to have a CSV file right here with the remaining items, so let's import. Good. Notice here that you have the option of adding these new pages as subpages of a parent. I'm going to take advantage of this, putting all these as subpages of my laptop computers page, which is itself a subpage of my products page. And of course, you have the same menu placement options that you do when creating single pages. You can choose from all the possible menu locations and decide whether you want these included in your sitemap, as well as whether you'd like to see them published right away. Note that these options apply to all your pages. Next, on the Metadata tab, you have another Keywords field. These are the keywords that will apply to each and every one of your pages. Unlike the keywords from the previous screen, which were model-specific, these keywords represent the product line in general. Now we have to enter a description. You can either have the same one for every product line, or have it automatically taken from the first 200 characters of content you end up adding to the page. Since all laptops in my example product line are very similar, it makes sense that I go with the first option. The final step is to enter default page content. In our case, it's the description of the product line, an image of it, since the laptops look the same externally, and a blank specifications table that we'll fill in on an individual basis later. You can also add tokens to your pages. These are dynamically generated text strings that are put together from information in the current page, parent page, site, or project. Tokens are explained more fully in their own video tutorial, but just as a quick example, let's have the headline from each page here automatically generated from the page title. It's easy to slip the exact model name into the body text this way as well. Obviously, each of the generated pages will need to be tweaked individually later on, but this is really a good start and will save us considerable time in the long run. Just think what a hassle it would be if you had to create a hundred such pages. So, a click of the Create Pages button will create our pages, and as you can see, our pages are waiting right there as subpages of the Laptop Computers page, where they can then be customized as much as we want. In conclusion, multi-page creation has the power to save you mountains of time if you're creating a series of similar pages, so that you never again have to redundantly add new pages with the same kind of content.